Hello universe, welcome to my world. We will be doing Angelina Jordan at the end of this video and today we're listening to Endless Love which is written by Lionel Richie as it's considered one of the best duets ever. He wrote it in 1981 and it originally appeared with his singing alongside of Diana Ross. Lionel Richie is originally from Alabama and he started out with the Commodore and he was probably most famous with the Commodores for his hit single, Three Times a Lady. Let's have a quick listen to this by way of introduction to Lionel Richie. You once, twice, three times a lady. Actually, it would be better if we heard him eight years later in 1986 singing the song personally to his grandmother who was a classical pianist. Notice her study and concentration and appreciation. And it should be mentioned that as with Angelina Jordan, maybe a grandmother and, or grandfather is a very powerful and positive influence in the life of a child. You once Now the first duet originally done with this song with Lionel Richie and Diana Ross. Diana Ross started out in the Supremes in the early 60s. Baby, baby, baby don't leave me. Ooh, please don't leave me. All by myself. And I don't think we can talk about the Supremes without talking about Motown. Motown exploded worldwide in the 1960s and it almost was alongside the Beatles and Bob Dylan in defining what the 1960s were. Motown was a massive, massive force. It started out of Detroit, which of course is the Motor City, and it featured other great artists like Smokey Robinson and the Miracles and Martha and the Vandellas. I'll show two clips from Motown and the Martha Vandella song, Keith Wave, is probably in my all-time top 10 songs. The beat is just driving and relentless and wonderful. Let's now hear Lionel Richie's duet with Diana Ross, 1981. This is the original version. My love, there's only you in my life. The only thing that's right. My first love, your every breath. That I take your every step I make, and I, I want to share all my love with you. No one else will do. The next duet we will hear. It's from 1994 and it is with a couple of New Yorkers. Mariah Carey exploded on the scene worldwide in, in the 90s and here she is singing alongside Luther Vandross. He probably is most famous for his song Never Too Much and here she is singing Harry Nilsson's Without You. I don't want nobody else to ever love me. You are my shining 
He really gives definition to the term rhythm and blues. The rhythm and phrasing in that song is just wonderful. And they do a wonderful duet together. Listen to how powerful this is. The next duet we will hear is from 1997. Tom Jones and Dionne Warwick were both huge stars from the 60s. This is 30 years later. Tom Jones was one of the original heartthrobs from Wales, and Dionne Warwick from New Jersey was actually a cousin of Whitney Houston. He's performing one of his breakout hits. It's not unusual, and she has two samples. We're hearing her walk on by and then it's Don't Make Me Over, both from the early 60s. It's not on you to want to be loved by anyone. It's not on you to want to have fun with anyone. But when I see you hanging about with anyone, it's not on you to want. It happens every day. If you see me walking down the street, Next, we will be hearing the duet with Tom Jones and Dionne Warwick, which is very, very good. Love, there's only you in my life, the only thing that's right. Now there's one more duet that we will hear. It's from 2011. It's from Lionel Richie. Let's have another look at Lionel Richie. At the height of his career, one of his singles, Hello, made him even more famous. Hello, I've just got to let you know, cause I wonder where you are. And this time he is singing alongside of Shania Twain, the Canadian country pop singer. When we hear Shania Twain singing, You're Still the One, she's on a horse, and not surprisingly, she is performing in Las Vegas. A bit theatrical, but forgivable. Looks like we made it. Look how far we've come, my baby. We might 
took the long way We knew we'd get there someday They said I'll be We'll never make it But just look at us holding on The duet with Shania Twain and Lionel Richie is very interesting because it's a, a different feel to it. It has guitar and it has um, slightly leaning towards, maybe slightly leaning in a country direction. A very in different interpretation than the others. This is 30 years after Lionel Richie wrote the song and he performed it with Diana Ross and he has aged very, very well. My love, there's only in my life the only thing that's right my first love you're every breath that i take you're every step i make and i And do remember, we are doing an Angelina Jordan channel, and Angelina Jordan is up next. She is not doing a duet, she is doing a solo. Can she take on seven of the greatest stars from the 20th century, all on her own? Well, we're not really doing a comparative analysis. We are doing a music appreciation, and really, we do appreciate Angelina Jordan. Let's see what she does. <laughs> There's only you in my life The only thing that's bright My first love Your every breath that I take Your every step I make And I duets we heard were great, but Angelina Jordan is great in a different way. I've spent the last year trying to find words how to explain how she is great. I think I've run out of words. I think you just have to 
experience Angelina Jordan and what she does. Okay, gang, we will continue to experience Angelina Jordan. I'm out of here. I'll catch you later.